The Bible says in Romans 3 verse 23, All have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. 1 John 3 verse 4 tells us that sin is the transgression or breaking of God's law, God's standard of sinless perfection. Humans inherited a corrupted, sinful nature when Adam, who was the first human on the planet, willingly sinned against God in the Garden of Eden is seen in Romans 5, verses 12 through 14. When Adam sinned against God, God could have sent Adam to hell right then and there, but God had mercy on Adam and shed the blood of an animal to cover Adam's sin, as seen in Genesis 3 verse 21. Since we sinned, we broke God's law and we are unrighteous in God's eyes. 1 Corinthians 6 verses 9 to 10 tells us that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God. When people sinned in the Old Testament, they had to shed the blood of animals to receive temporary forgiveness of sins just like Adam received temporary forgiveness of sins by the blood of the animal God sacrificed for him. Hebrews 9 verse 22 states that almost all things are by the Old Testament law purged with blood and without the shedding of blood is no forgiveness of sins. God accepts blood sacrifices to cover sins, but God didn't intend for humans to use imperfect, animal sacrifices for temporary forgiveness of sins indefinitely, so God provided a permanent solution for all of your sins, so he can undo the death of your spirit by Adam's sin. John 1 verse 29 shows us that God's Son himself is the Lamb of God which takes away the sin of the world. God's Son is the sacrifice that God provided for humans so that we can receive permanent forgiveness by his shed blood. Hebrews 10 verses 4 through 5 states that it is not possible that the blood of bulls and of goats should take away sin, so when Jesus came into the world, he was going to sacrifice his own body for us. Ephesians 2, 8 through 9 tells us that forgiveness of sins, or entry into heaven is by faith as a gift of God and not by good deeds or works that we do. Ephesians 1 13 states that God seals his Holy Spirit in those who hear, believe and accepts, or trusts the gospel of salvation for forgiveness of their sins. The gospel of salvation is found in 1 Corinthians 15 verses 1 through 4. The sinful message of the gospel of salvation is that Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God paid for your sins by shedding his blood on the cross, he was then buried and rose from the dead the third day to justify you according to the Bible. Romans 3 verse 25 shows us that Jesus Christ is the propitiation, the being who appeased God's wrath on our sins by our faith in his blood. You have to trust that his blood was what gave you forgiveness of sins. Jesus tells us in Leviticus 17:11 that the life of the flesh is in the blood, and that he has given his blood upon the altar in heaven to make atonement for our souls, because it is his blood that makes atonement or reconciles our souls. Hebrews 9 verse 12 shows that Jesus brought his own blood into heaven to obtain eternal redemption for us. That is why you can go to heaven, because Jesus paid for you to be in heaven by dying for your sins, he was then buried, and then he rose from the dead to justify you, and offered his blood to reconcile your soul to God so whenever you believe that, God saves you. Here are three simple questions for you, showing you how simple it is to get saved. If Jesus paid for all of your sins, the things sending you to hell. That means you have nothing sending you to hell. Is that correct? And if Jesus gives you eternal life when you believe he rose from the dead to justify you, that means you have spiritual life in heaven that cannot end. Is that correct? So if you have nothing sending you to hell and you have spiritual eternal life that cannot end, then where are you going when you die? The answer is heaven.